what's going on everybody today we are going to be replacing this windshield washer fluid tank if that's what you want to call it basically it's almost 20 years old and the plastic started drying up and it started cracking so I got another one this one is from a 99 Toyota Corolla I'm assuming it's not the original if mine is a 2001 and it's cracking. So first, we'll go ahead and loosen up the negative battery terminal. There we go. Then, we'll go ahead and loosen up this old tank. There we go. Then we'll just go ahead and pull this old tank out. We'll go ahead and unplug it down here. And then the fun part, pulling the hose off. And here we go. Just be careful because there is still water in here. And it looks like that tank out of the 99 is original. Here's how you can tell. I put them together. This one is the new one, or new to me anyways. This one is the one that's broken. And if you look right here, November 2nd, 1999, April 28th, 2000. Anyone out there with a 98 to 2002 Toyota Corolla with a tank that still looks like this? Because this still looks brand new, actually. Let me know what your secret is. Because 19 years did this to mine. All right, so now to install the good tank into the car. We'll just go ahead and plug it in. And then hook the hose up. And then just slide it on in. And there we go. We'll just go ahead and tighten that nut. There we go. Then, since this tank didn't come with a filter, we'll just go ahead and put that in. Then, fill it up with water. And then me personally, I just keep water in here. I don't mix Windex or anything else with it. For one main reason, these little sprayers on the hood, well, they mainly get the front window. A little bit will also get on the paint. I really don't want Windex or other chemicals on my paint. Then reconnect the battery and then make sure it works. And awesome. Also, just because I felt like crunching some numbers, I actually called the dealership to see how much it would cost to replace that tank. And are you ready? $294.50. So, the new tank at Pick and Pull was about $16. So when you do the math, I saved $278.50. That's quite a bit of change. And with that money, I could get gas in both my cars, go out to dinner. If you guys have Chicago Fire where you live, they have some of the best pizza. Or I could just keep my money and just chill at home. So many possibilities with two seventy-eight fifty. And this little water pump, I might keep it as a backup. And don't forget, 
new videos every Sunday. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also make sure you hit that bell so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys next week.